around that day, saying the, the pieces have fallen into place. You go and look at all my sermons about the blood moon and all the 21 future events of Revelation, World War III. We've been talking about this. And he said it started on September 11, 2015. This war already started. Because the Holy One, blessed is He, will not bring it in the beginning. What will happen is one day, everything will explode. Something will happen to cause everything to escalate. And we will know instantly that we are in full-blown war. And everyone will say, World War III has, started, has begun. That's it. There's no time left. Rabbi, so you are saying that there will be some sort of security breach that will blow out of proportion and they will be fighting one another? What about us? Nathan, at first we will be excluded from this, but after they will unite against us. Right? So we got some history for the, some, uh, not history, prophecy for the Jews. If you're a Jew, don't put your trust only in the IDF and your military and economic power. You need to turn to Mashiach and to Teshuva. If you're a nominal Christian, if you're not sure you're a Christian, if you're just a Sunday churchgoer, if you're a church hopper, you need to do teshuva. You really need to forgive people in your lives that you think hurt you, and you need to do acts of kindness. It's not time to play around. This is time to really show acts of kindness. This is time to make absolutely sure that our faith and our repentance is genuine, that our relationship with God is solid by the blood, sacrifice, the atoning sacrifice of the Messiah. We have been made clean. Therefore, we fear displeasing God, not fear going to hell. Amen. And if there's any sense of fear of going to hell, we need to repent tonight. We need to repent right now Amen. and ask Jesus, the, the Messiah, to come into our hearts. Amen. You can do that right now. Right now. Ask everyone to close your eyes and pray. There are people who are listening, and I believe there are many Jewish people who, whose eyes God is opening right now to show your own scriptures, your own Mashiach. We've quoted from your scriptures that you've given to us. We are indebted to you. Now we give you back the gift that you need to receive. Accept the Mashiach, the Messiah, before it's too late. Before the, the atom bomb goes off, before war starts, there'll be no time. You can't even respond to the, sil the sirens in time. Accept your Messiah now, I pray. Want to do that? Zach, shut that up. Would you please do that? And I'm, I'm taking that same invitation and I'm offering it to every person in the world. Hallelujah. You know, it's, God works in mysterious ways as wonders to perform. If you notice there, one of the big things is our lack of forgiveness, forgiving people. Amen. Well, about a month or so ago, God told me that I would start my new series of devotions on forgiveness. Yep. So, I bought books, I've been reading, it's going into the Old Testament, New Testament, and discovering there that probably our greatest sin is our inability to forgive. Amen. Okay. It's not murder, it's not robbing a bank, it's your inability to forgive someone for whatever it was they did to you. And then you have to remember something, too. Forgiveness is not pardon. It is God who pardons sin. That's right. It's us who forgive it, but it's God who has to pardon sin. Now, I want you to, I, I trust you've taken this very seriously this morning. Because we, we really are living a lot closer to the fulfillment of this than then uh, a lot of people want to think. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> there are so many predictions politically and all this kind of stuff that Mr. Obama is going to lead us into a war before he leaves office. All right? What's this guy been talking about? Hmm. What I want you to see is not what's going on in the rest of the world, but what's going on in your own life. Amen. Look into your own heart, into your own mind. What's going on in your life? And if Jesus were to come in this moment, would you go to be with him? Or would you be left here? And a lot of that has to do with your ability to forgive. 
or your inability to forget. You follow me? Amen. Now, Father, I thank you for this video this morning. But Holy Spirit, I just release you through this morning. We, we worshiped you, we sang, we praised. That's wonderful. That's what we're supposed to do. But if all of that has not come out of a pure heart, Amen. then it's just sounding brass and tinkling cymbals. Hmm. And so, Holy Spirit, I ask you to come and search our hearts, convict, convince, hmm. woo people, love them, draw them. Yes, Lord Jesus. So that God, not one person in the sound of this will, will, miss, will miss the rapture. We'll miss that great moment <sighs> when the church of Jesus Christ rises up out of this earth. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. I'm so thankful that you came. So thankful. I'm so thankful that you died. Yes, Lord Jesus. I'm so thankful that your blood washes our sins away yes, still today. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so thankful. So thankful. Oh, so thankful that we have a hope and a future with you. Yes, Lord. This world is not our home. Heaven is. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to ask you all to just come, come up to the altar area, would you please? Tim, you can come join us to drop that. Oh, don't, don't drop it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm serious, friend. And I mean this. I really mean what, I, what I'm feeling. When I first viewed this, I, I, I was, there was such a gripping of my own spirit. And I said, God... Your people need to see this. Amen. It's not the unsaved world that needs to see this. Yes. It's people who go to church and make believe everything's right. Amen. And when I started this series on forgiveness, uh, I, I, I've gone to religious writers, I've gone to secular writers, and... and uh, it's amazing to me how the secular writers are more adamant about the fact that if you can't forgive somebody, you're going to be the most miserable person on earth. <laughs> Amen. That's right. That's right. Sings into your heart. I would have expected that from a, a Christian writer. Yeah. Okay. But for the ungodly writers, or I'm assuming that, for them to say that, tells me that they're relating <laughs> something more to forgiveness or the lack of forgiveness than just me saying you're forgiven. Yes. In fact, most of them are saying, if I don't forgive you, I'm the one that's carrying the crime. That's right. That's right. That, not you. Whatever you did is gone. Mm -hmm. It's me not forgiving. Now has, it, has taken what you did. I'm taking it on now. And that's why Jesus said, except a man be born again. Right. Amen. He can't make the kingdom. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. And God, I just pray for each person in this room this morning. Hallelujah. I love these people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I know that everything is so uncertain, time, things, happenings, whatever. But one thing is certain, and that is that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Hallelujah. And I pray, God, that for every person here, that if there is an area of unforgiveness in their lives, they'll turn it mm, to you right yes. now. All to you, Lord, right now. That, all that, to that you. they'll open their Very heart to you and allow you, Jesus, to come inside of them yes. and yes. cause them to speak those words of forgiveness to that person, whomever they are, wherever they are, even if they're not here. Yes, Lord. But they'll speak it out so yes, that Lord, it will come out of their own being. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Mm. From what that boy saw 
and where we're living, time is so short. Yes. Time is so short. And, and, and then as we hustle each day, there, the things in our world keep getting worse. And it's all that I believe you're telling us, Jesus, is get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. Be ready for such an hour as you think not. Hallelujah. That's when the Son of Man's going to come. Hallelujah. And so, God, I pray for each person here. Yes, Lord Jesus. And Father, I, I pray for their families and their yes, yes, other yes. members of their households. Yes. That God, every one of them will be ready. 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 Oh God. Holy Spirit, I, I, I ask you to deal with each one of us. Yes, Lord. Yes. Deal yes. with us. Yes, Lord. Convict us. Mm, convince yes, us. Yes, Heavenly Father. You know, what really started this with me being for, forgiving a person that had done something that was really not very nice. And I tried to wipe it out and forget it. And the Holy Spirit said, no, you have to go and forgive them. And you know, I said, I'll forgive him. I forgive you. No, no, you have to go there. Amen. To them. Face them and forgive them. Amen. So I did. And I really think the person didn't want to believe that that's what I was coming to do. They never do. But I did it. And when I walked away from there, I felt a ton lighter. Amen. Yes, indeed. More from my conscience. Mm. Because if the Holy Spirit had not reminded me or brought this up to me, I would have ignored it and gone on. Because it wasn't something like that something happened a few days ago before or a couple of weeks or whatever. It's something that's older than that. But you see, if it's not forgiven, it's still there. Amen. Yeah. So true. It's still there. I don't care how far back in your life it goes. It's there. Hallelujah. And that's what God's dealing with. With what's there. He is timeless. And so I just urge you. I just urge you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If there's something like that in your life, then be obedient to the moving of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And 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 and, and Go speak that word of forgiveness. Yes, Lord Jesus. Because it sets you free. Yes. Hallelujah. It doesn't necessarily set them free. They have to be pardoned by God. Mm -hmm. But it sets you free. Yes. You are free. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, Father, Thank I pray Jesus. for that courage and that wisdom. I pray for that anointing. Yes. I, I pray, God, that oh, as no, 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 we stand no, 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 here. No, 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 that, that Holy Spirit, as you speak to us, as we you speak to us, that's going to come alive in us. And we're going to find our way to that individual or wherever and speak forgiveness so that we can be forgiven by you. Hallelujah. And stand in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. And while you're standing here, mm -hmm. Brother Duroy and Marilyn, if you'll go and get the communion, please. And I want you to serve everybody while they're standing here. You don't have, excuse me, Zach, but you don't have to play the music. Just forget that for now. Amen. But just start right here. And, and then I have warnings that you're giving us. Yes. Seed to participate together.
Jesus, we take these elements. Yes, Lord Jesus. Because you told us to. Yes. Thank you. you said as often, we're taking it today, this morning. And this wafer, we realize, represents your body that was beaten and abused for us. God, I, I pray for every person in this circle that as they take this wafer, yes, it's not just a thing of habit, it's not something they've done, yes, Lord Jesus. and it's not going to be done it's when there's me. sin or things that they kept inside that need to be left mm. at the cross. Left at your feet. But that as we take these elements this morning, we do it with the understanding that Jesus, yes, Jesus, you were beaten, yes. bruised, yes. died yes. For, for our sake, yes. for, for our, our sake, yes, Lord, for our sake, you, you washed away, Jesus. so that there would be feet. nothing that would hinder us, yes, Lord, from going into the kingdom. Yes. Yes. And so, Jesus, in your name, we take this your name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. The wonderful thing about the blood yes. is it continues to cleanse. Hallelujah. Forevermore. Never stops. And that's what's so important about it. Hallelujah. We realize that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all, all sin. All sin. Thank you, Jesus. And the marvelous thing of that is we don't have to take the communion to be forgiven. Amen. Hallelujah. We are forgiven this way. Right. Thank you. Right. Yes. At that moment when you pray and say, God, forgive me. Yes, Lord Jesus. Jesus. He forgives. Yes. Right from your yes. heart. Hallelujah. Your spirit. But then there comes your part. Your part. Yes, right? Lord Jesus. And that's that recognizing that His blood has washed you. Yes, And His Lord. blood will continue to wash yes, you. Yes, Lord. But you've got to continue to want it. Yes, you've yes. Got to continue to walk in that. Hallelujah. And you've got to deal with any sin mm. that comes up in your life. As Hallelujah. Sin. Yes, Lord And Jesus. see to it that it's gone. Yes, And so Jesus... We take Lord this Jesus. symbol of your blood. Yes. yes, Lord Jesus. And I realize that in this grape juice there's nothing of value. But it's in the fact that it represents your yes. blood. Yes, Lord, yes. And we're looking to that blood that flowed that day at Calvary's cross. Yes. Hallelujah. And that fountain of blood, blood still flows today. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And whosoever will will come can be forgiven and their yes. sins yes, washed Lord. away. Yes. And I pray, oh, God, that that happens, yes. that every person in this yes. room is yes. going to walk out of here today a different person. Hallelujah. That, God, any weight that they've had on them, anything that, yes. mm. that it'll be gone. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. That it'll be gone. As they walk Jesus. out of here to walk into a newness of life. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank A new you. life. Yes. God, even, I don't care how long they've been going to church. That's right. It's a new life. New life. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. you for it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You're collecting your bottle. I'm glad. It, 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 it just, he, he, he just does things different. Hallelujah. 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 That's what's so exciting about walking with him is <sighs> having that fellowship with him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Now, itself against Israel again, and we see all these things happening every day in front of us. And we're we're realizing here in America that we're on the verge of some disasters that are really going to affect us people individually and collectively. 
unless we're committed to the kingdom and our God is watching over us. Hallelujah. And if he's watching over us, he'll watch over us and take care of us. That's it. And that's Always the wonderful good part hands. of having and maintaining a relationship with God. Hallelujah. But you have to maintain that. Yes. And that doesn't mean on Sunday morning when you go to church. That every means all day. day long, every day. Every day. You know, you, you just... All, the, the devil tries all kinds of things to mess up. I, I'm sure that's what happened this morning, why all of a sudden both my eyes, I, I can't see, and I'm having such terrible pain I, like I've never had before. And it just happened just before church this morning. And, and, and for what other reason? Except the devil knew we were going to show that this morning. Amen. Because he watched... <clears throat> Pardon me, he, he watched yesterday as we viewed it and set it all up. And I'd watched it before, and, he, and Esther and I talked about it, so he knew what I was doing. Amen. But hallelujah, I'm so glad our God is so much greater. Yeah, hallelujah, yes. And I don't have any pain in either eye now. Yeah, all so right. Woo! How it happened, all I know is Thank you, uh, Esther prayed for me and 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 and. and, and Within a few minutes, the pain was all gone. That's it. And, you know, walking with God, it, it can't be something that, that's isolated by you alone. Yeah. It's got to happen automatically from you, through you, to others. Yes. So that their lives can be affected by what God's doing. Hallelujah. And he's really coming soon. Yes, indeed. Wow. Now... While you're preparing your tithes and your offerings for this morning, I, I really want you to pray with me this week because we need a financial miracle this week. Our rent is due on the 10th, and um, we need a financial miracle by then. And so I really want you to pray with me about it this week. But prepare your tithes and offerings. And I mentioned next Sunday is the 11th, all right? It's been 15 years, but we're going to take time next Sunday morning in our service to pray for America, to pray for those survivors of the families that died 15 years ago in that mess, whether it was in the Twin Towers or the Pentagon or the airplane that went down. But I also want us to take time to pray for America right now. Yes, hallelujah where America is now. And it's time for us to wake up to that and, 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 and uh, realize, anyway, but now, ladies, if you think that's the only thing that's going to happen next Sunday, uh, I've got news for you, okay? <laughs> Heidi, if you'll come up here. for the ladies next Sunday, September 11th, is the ladies meeting at 5 o'clock. Uh, we'll be continuing our study on the book Fervent. Uh, Irene will be presenting chapter 5. And also, if everyone would please join us after service to celebrate John and Cheryl. Thank you. Now, nobody told you about that one, John. <laughs> I don't know where Cheryl is. <laughs> But yes, we have a cake and they're going to have some coffee and they want for people to meet meet you because they know Cheryl, but they don't know John. <laughs> Think of it as I knew John before I knew Cheryl. <laughs> Anyhow, Esther, you have an announcement. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Is everybody okay? Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm just sitting here favors. just thanking the Lord for all of you. Thank you for your love and your faithfulness. So we can call on you anytime. It's so good to see you all again. You know what? As I was sitting uh, in the back here, which I rarely do because I'm usually a little closer up, I was just talking to the Lord about the last days and. Um, how he has said in his word, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together, especially as you see the day approaching. 
And I felt like this morning was solidifying in our, each one of us that we're together and this is a safe place. It's a place of refuge. It's a, it's a safe harbor. We need to be together and we need to understand these. And Bill, I was thinking how when we lived in Lebanon uh, during the during war, how our young people would uh, risk, actually, actually risk their lives, risk their lives to get together, to come together. And every single moment was was so cherished because we didn't know whether we'd ever see each other again. We didn't know if we walked out the door, a bomb would go off, and who who would be uh, killed by it? We had no idea. Life was life was on a like a, on a precipice. And I, I'm getting a feeling like that for America. That if we are not if we are not really really in tune, if we're not taking this seriously, that. Um, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Some of us may miss out if we don't really, really get down to it. And I don't talk like this very often because you're not a very positive person. But I'm alerting us today. I feel like yes. there's an alert in my yes. spirit. Are you sensing that? Amen. Yes. It's a real alert. And, and cherish these times that we are together. Really, I'm serious. The body of Christ needs to really, really care for one another like never before. Yes, ma'am. I feel that this is the hour in which we need to pray for for mercy time mercy time those who were here on Wednesday night and pastor had to leave just a little bit early but we prayed for mercy time Amen. for this nation and indeed for the world yes. but right now relative this nation there are two things that you heard on this on this uh, film today, and I hadn't seen it before. I don't know who this is. I'm just going to remind you that for those of you who have been here on Wednesday nights and who know, the Lord had given me a word, Sister Esther and Brother Bill knows, that the Lord had spoken about times imminent. Yes. And he had given us a message. It is posted on my webpage. It is a now moment for us, right now, for America. Times imminent. And so uh, I was got my attention as I heard the tape up there. But there is an area now that we really absolutely must contend with. And that is I had sent a, some, some text messages out to several people asking that we pray for, that we pray for uh, that a situation does not occur, that we withhold the hand of someone, yes, who has a plan, a thought in, in action to commit an act against this nation that will cause this nation to feel that it must retaliate. Yes. And the word retaliate is what the Holy Spirit had given to me. We do not want this nation to be tricked or maneuvered into a war because of retaliation. And so right now we need to stand against any yeah. in, in, in need for retaliation. Amen, amen. We need to contend with that preventively. So we need to intercede right now to in intercept. Re intercede to intercept the enemy's scheme. Amen. Because there are more Jews that the Lord has said that need to come to acknowledge him as Jesus Christ. I said, Lord, what do you say is the greatest need of these, your people? He said, the acknowledgement that Jesus Christ is... Is Lord. Hallelujah. That is their great need. And so the message is going out, but many more people need to hear it and, and act upon it and receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And so right now then, again, then if you can see the need for mercy time in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's Amen. just do it right now. Let's just do it right now. Thank you, Father. Yes. For this word from my sister Mary. I, I, it's a sobering word, Lord, but it's also a freeing word if we'll listen to it. We thank you for your, for your mercy. And Mary, you told me grace also. For mercy and grace. Yes. Mercy and grace in Jesus' yes. name. Mercy time. It's mercy time. Okay. Yes. And for mercy, for granting of time. Yes. In your mercy, grant us time. And no retaliation in the name of Jesus. Are you in agreement? Let's everybody Amen. pray. Amen. In agreement. Yes. Let's release your prayers. Yes, Lord Thank you, Father. Jesus. We thank you. We'll come in against Jesus these things thank that would cause us to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I find it very interesting that the Lord can trust this body with 
with words like this because this is you don't hear this everywhere you go and um, and the one you don't hear what pastor has been preaching everywhere you go either the messages have been deep they've been intense and uh, again both of us have always been very positive in our walk with the Lord but but God keeps saying that we're to warn the people warn Amen. the people so this it's not easy for us but that's what we're doing and um, we're going to be doing this at the Made for More conference on September 24th. I would really appreciate it if you'd all join me. That's a conference that the Lord laid in my heart 15 years ago. This is our 15th one and a 15th year. And um, our theme this year is outrageous. You know, we struggled with that word because it has, a, has kind of a dual meaning. But when the Lord spoke to us about it, he said, if I don't have outrageous Christians out there, the outrageous enemy is going to get them. Amen. And so we're, we're to do outrageous acts for the Lord. We had an awesome prayer meeting here uh, on uh, uh, July 15th regarding that, and we had some very, very strong words given to us about how we needed to encourage our people to attend. I'm going to be at Acts 2 out west here if you need directions. I'll let you know. But please mark the date. I'm going to be talking more about it. Uh, men so, are oh, man, yes. The men... The men uh, Pastor Pastor Bill and Pastor Calvin both have a very strong word to give to the men. And so it, the, all you men, if you possibly can, just if you could plan ahead to be there, that would be awesome. Men, women, boys, girls, young people, everybody, anybody. And um, it's uh, I feel like this is probably one of the most important ones that we've ever had. Okay, at Acts 2 on Saturday, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Praise the Lord. I just want to say with the video we just watched, a lot of us maybe little shock, little surprise to what we heard. But I want to tell you something we should not be. We should stay firm with the word of God. Because yes, it's not more than this week. The Philippines has a new government there. And, and he's really going through and root out all the bad people that he knew of. And, and one of the person that comes up that was contributing to all the crime and violence was a top lady and she was mayor she was governor but she's an attorney she was an attorney and and she was the one that instigated a lot of this thing and you talk about a shocker so we must prepare ourselves with the word of god that's the only man we have only one praise the lord amen god, we thank you for your son jesus yes, yes our lord and savior father he gives us good gifts. And yes. Father, we're giving back to you, Lord God, a portion of what you have given us. Hallelujah. Bless us continually, we pray, Lord God. Father, you know Jesus all our name. needs, and you will provide for us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, everybody knows me. This, this is very out of character. <laughs> She's got a word. She's got a word. Praise God. Yeah. Can we help you with um, The Lord, I was praising him, and all of a sudden... I picked up my my tablet and I turned my Bible and I went to I was looking for a particular word, but it's in Revelations three ten, and it says, "Because you knew my word in passionate uh, patience, I'll keep you safe in time of testing, yes. that you will be here soon and all over the earth." every man, woman, and child put to the test. I'm on my way. I'll be there soon. Keep a tight grip on what you have so no one distracts you and steals your crown. I'll make you each a con conqueror, conqueror of the